Here we go. 1971 Corvette Stingray. Totally refurbished. Totally restored. This is, uh, in this light, the light, the sun is just starting to set here. It's called Brands Hatch Green. And believe it or not, when the sun goes down, it almost looks black. It's like a, I would call it like a bluish green. You can, you can Google it. It's the official, it, it, it's the matching numbers color, code correct. We had it redone, we had it resprayed about three years ago. And as you can see, the finish is just unbelievable unbelievable it almost yeah you, you can see the greenish it's like a greenish blue and it has the matching uh, uh, greenish blue interior we put new carpeting in it we had the seats redone to the original look we had uh, new brakes new tires the whole undercarriage has been updated Uh, the motor runs like a top. Headlights go up and down. Everything works as it should. When you turn, let me let me just go. Look at the look at the trees. The reflections of the trees in the finish. As I go really slow, it's an amazing finish. An amazing finish on this car. You, I could tell you what. You could look around for 1971 Corvettes, and all you see is oh, needs paint, needs interior needs engine work needs you know this every single thing has been done to this car including the paint which was the big deal that is not cheap we had the whole paint redone and it's just beautiful we put a new bumper on the front we have the original bumper it was just a little faded but in case someone wants to really get to that originality we have the original bumper there's no damage to it you would just have to get it re-chromed but uh, we even put a stainless steel. We got rid of the, they used to have a chrome, they had a chrome uh, uh, cover on here and it was all pitted and everything else. We have a stainless steel luggage rack. The chrome one was, was all, all aged and everything. This is a brand new stainless steel rug, rug uh, <laughs> there you go, luggage rack. We got brand new tires. There's no, there's no um, damage to the trim rings or anything. No curb rash, no nothing. We put all new chrome along the front of the wiper door. Uh, uh, just everything is, is fantastic on this car. Now the interior is just so clean. Let me get to the interior now. We had, we had everything out of here. Everything was out. We put new carpeting in. That's brand new carpeting. The correct uh, uh, carpeting. Uh, we have new soundproofing in uh, all the way into the back as you can see all the way now we're gonna get to it in a little bit but if you can see we have a Corvette stereo speaker system in the back we had to order that special and I'm gonna let you hear that later on because uh, the radio does work we put a Corv with the Corvette logo on it uh, it's a kind of an updated radio but it you know, at least it looks uh, uh, it looks period correct. Um, it's real wood all the way around. I have the original one, and it's real easy. You just just screws in there. You take it off. Put it. I really was digging the wood, so I put the wood one on there. As you see, the seats are just in tremendous shape. Look at the door panels. The door panels are just in absolutely new condition, especially with the with the trim. You don't always see the the, this is wood with my where my fingers are. It's wood with, with the chrome surrounding it. So um, you don't see that too often. Uh, a four-speed manual, and man, oh man, does this thing go. This thing is tremendous. As you see, even the, what do you call it? Let me let me show you the, the, the upper dash part. The sun's glaring on it, makes it look a little weird. But uh, as you see, no, no, Usually you see these all broken up and everything else. Nothing like that. The center console, all the way from the e-brake cover. What's that? Just a little, little something. All the way up the shifter. All the gauges work. I'll be showing you that in a minute. Uh, uh, all the way around. Now, 
I'm sure that you, know, you folks that are experienced Corvette people understand that that rear window comes out. It's very, very easy. There's, there's uh, latches in here. You go one, then you go to the other side. This is, a, this is very cool for those of you that aren't aware of it and you want one of these chrome bumper cars. And I'm telling you, the, the, hold on, I gotta put the phone down for one second. It took me two seconds two seconds to get this this window out put it over here with the t-tops but as you see now you can drive with no window in the back is that the coolest thing or what there you go and uh we're actually going to take this for a test drive in just a bit so if you are purchasing from a distance and you might want to just buy it you, i mean fly down here take a look at it but if you're looking to just Get this before anyone else does, and I'm telling you, look around. You're gonna see, you're gonna see some of these Corvettes that are nowhere near as clean as this Corvette, nowhere near as updated as this Corvette, and and uh, and it's fairly priced uh, compared to some of those other crazy prices you see out there. And this one, you will not have to do a thing now or in the near future nothing you get it home you jump in it and you start driving it like i said earlier a lot of these cars you got to do this you got to do that people are like yeah it's a beautiful car but it needs this oh it's a beautiful car but it needs that nothing this car is totally redone totally ready when it leaves my little shop it is a hundred percent now Let's, let's get in this thing and start it up. All right, I'll get in it right here. E-brake works perfect. Listen to that, just, just amazing. The radio works as it should. You just push the button and it goes on. I don't know if I have the right station on, but Jeez, oh, you could it believe me it, I'm not gonna go searching for the station but believe me it works headlights go up and down as they should I'll, I'll turn them on I'll show you here let me turn the parking lights on so it looks very cool I love that look it's got a nice cam in it which you're gonna hear in a minute Again, it's not too obnoxiously loud, but man, does it have that nice rumble to it. Listen, I'm gonna go around the back here. Listen to this. Just, just really, really sharp. Let's, let's take a look at the hood, under the hood. This engine is so clean. I mean, it's aged, yes, but everything in it has been updated. We put new valve covers on it. We, we bought a new, uh, we, we just cleaned up the, the chrome cover. Uh, we put on new belts. Um, this car is perfectly timed, runs absolutely beautiful. The whole motor's been redone. It's a 350 uh, cubic inch, but if I have to guess, I'd say it's pretty close to 350 horsepower. This thing can get up and go if you want it to. All right. This is, I don't know, I, it's like MO, everything else. All the weather stripping, all the door weather stripping, all the way around the door, it's all been redone all the weather stripping up the sides of the windshield all the weather stripping down everything's been done i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that stuff over here those are the t-tops in the rear top to take it for a little drive i don't think anyone's gonna bother it over here and one of the other cool features the fiber optic lights work i don't know can you see them like even if you use your signal light you see 
the fiber optics, and all that stuff works. All the signal lights work, everything works on this car. The car's been totally redone, inside and outside, underneath, everything. Now, I'm telling you, man, this car can get up and go, you want it to. I gotta try to do this with one hand. It's gonna need me. Man, oh man, this car goes. Sorry, folks trying to shift and hold the camera with one hand but let me tell you and not only does this car you know a lot of these cars you can pick up and they look sharp and everything but if the suspension isn't done right it's a big rattle box not this one this one just goes and it's smooth it's comfortable and it's darn impressive got it in third gear just so you know it goes through everything here and there's fourth gear what do we got it up to almost 50 miles an hour Shit. I had the brake on a little bit it's, it's not on anymore as you see the e-brake I didn't a lot of times with these e-brakes you got to pull them back and then when you push them down you got to make sure that they're all the way down then you know you're good all right, let me, um, <laughs> shifting it and holding the camera at the same time is uh, a little tough. Let's get back to where we were. We'll put the headlights on so you can see that I showed you they flip up and down earlier but you could see that all the lights work. All the little accent lights, we made sure everything works on this car. Headlights, all the way, all the, the uh, running lights. Again, uh, in case you're purchasing from a distance, you probably won't mind the length of this video. Now what we did, we can disconnect this, but back in the day, if you had a really updated transmission that was really powerful you'd see the reverse lights on uh, uh, they would drive like that I have that hooked up now just because it's such old school I wanted it to have that powerful old school look and only people from back in the day will remember sometimes you'd see cars drive on the route down the road with the reverse lights on and you knew the thing was quick but I, I, I could, it's just a plug underneath I could take it take it right out um, what else do we got here signal lights again let me show you the signal lights are all working and not only do the signal lights work but even the running light signal lights work like everything works on this car i'm telling you it it, it left when it leaves here it's leaving here 100 percent And that's why I'm going through this whole process with you. Just so you can see how everything works as it should. Then when you want the headlights down, you just punch it in and then they go down. And that's it. What else can I show you? I think that's about it. Oh yeah, we got a <laughs> horn works. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Just an absolutely beautiful 1971 Corvette. Completely, look at, look at the finish on that car. Completely restored, 100%. I got it running right now. You can hardly hear it in the front, but in the back, you could hear that cam. You could hear that rumble. Look at it. Just beautiful. Any questions, folks, give me a call. 1971 Corvette Stingray, totally totally redone.